Just waiting to see if this is actually going to work this time. Alright, I think it's working. Hi everybody. You know me. <laughs> Amanda, my Tangled Sense for Scentsy. Um, I've been trying to do this live for a while now, but I couldn't go live for some reason one day, and then whenever I finally could, I realized that I had no audio. And I guess it's because my new webcam, while well, it has a better picture, apparently it's broken in the audio department. So I bought a mic, so I'm using it, and I have a feeling that it's going to have a lot of background noise, because whenever I tried it earlier, it was had a lot of like this white noise sound in the background. But anyway, I want to do this really quick, because it's a lot later and I plan on going live. Um, if anybody can see me, hi, thanks for joining. Um, if you're watching live, let me know. If you're watching replay, do hashtag replay so I can see what time you saw it. If anybody hops on here, has any questions, feel free to ask about Cincy, about anything. <laughs> I don't mind talking. Um, as you can tell, I have a different hair color. It looks horrible right now. I got tired of the faded yellowish, tannish color that I ended up with after my bright color faded. So I went with this like. I think like a burgundy brown did not turn out how I wanted it to but it was one of those cheap boxes all right anyway I got on here to talk about my Scentsy Club order which was the same as last month so most of you probably already seen that it was um, I got my cozy cardigan lotion Ugh, you still can't see good I love these bottles because it's they're so, I, I thought they looked weird at first because they're like short and squat, but you can pump and not, it doesn't wobble. It never falls over like some of the taller, thinner bottles of lotion you might get. Um, what else did I get? I got some of the, um, the cleanups, the cotton cleanups that will clean multiple warmers. So I get those every month. And then I got several bars, which I'm pretty sure they were all the same as I got last month. Next month I'm going to have a different shipment. But this month is French Lavender, Cozy Cardigan, Johnny Appleseed. I love Johnny Appleseed right now. I don't know why. Maybe because it's fall. Um, the Mandalorian Farmer's Market, which I think is discontinued. I've been getting it every month. But I think I'm letting that go because it's just, I like it. But I'm getting like a stockpile of it. And then Cloudberry Dreams, which is one of my favorites also right now, is just so just fruity and light and like a happy scent. I don't know if that makes sense, but I also got another weathered leather car tin, which I still have yet to put in my car, but I keep meaning to because I really like the smell of it. It gives your car that like new car smell if you have leather seats and stuff. And then, um, got some more light bulbs, which I'm not going to show those because everybody knows what light bulbs look like. Alright, so my whiff box. <coughs> Pardon me. I haven't opened this yet. I'd opened everything else on the multiple pimps of doing this live. But my whiff box for this month. Let me try not to get it right in front of my face. I've been wanting to open this for days, but I've been waiting to do it live. As a usual, it comes with this little little paper. Say Halloween. Halloween ya está aquí. Halloween is here. This cute little, I'm not even sure. This little design so you can make these cute little lanterns, Halloween lanterns. Wow, I need to get used to this camera. So cider is a quintessential fall drink, so we're celebrating this festive brew. Your October Whiff Box is a cider sampler full of fragrances inspired by this classic beverage. Enjoy. So let's see. The first thing is a cider mill scent circle. <laughs> you can see my brother back there walking around. Um, got a sample of Washer Whiffs. The shimmer. Got a sample 
another sample of the shimmer washer whiffs. Jeweled pomegranate. This is, I believe, the November scent of the month. Correct me if I'm mistaken, but I have been looking forward to this. I think I'm going to open it and sniff it right now. My um, warmer of the month and scent of the month box should be coming in a few days, and I'll go live and share that with you because I'm really excited about November's warmer of the month. <sighs> I think I like it. It's not as strong as this month, because this month is the, um, what is this? Ra the Walnut Raisin Muffin scent was this month's scent of the month, and it's like, it's really, really good and like addictive. Oh, it's right in front of me too. I got one of those in my box. But it's kind of a strong scent, like a really strong bakery, spicy scent. I'm not sure which category it goes under, but I really like it. It's real strong and like kind of a cinnamon smell. And then this jeweled pomegranate, it's a more subtle, not spicy, at least not to me, fruity, kind of a sweet smell, but not like overly so. I'm looking forward to warming that. All right, what else is in the whiff box? Cedar cider, flax. Oh, I like that. I am just not even going to try to describe it, except for if you've ever smelled cider. It smells like, it smells like its name, cedar cider. It's like a cider with kind of a woodsy undertone, to me, anyway. And then, Bright Cider Life. This one? This one makes me think more like a caramel vanilla kind of smell I like it oh hi Stacy <laughs> if you're still here I just saw that that popped up honey pear cider I'm gonna have to sp spray this so I can smell it Is anything coming out there we go Oh, that is good. Honey pear cider. It is a sweet pear smell. It's a nice pear fragrance, but it has like a spicy undertone. Have you ever had like spiced pears? Like you, you cook them with a little sugar and some cinnamon and stuff on the stove and, and serve them like, like in a cobbler or something, except, you know, by themselves. That's what it makes me think of. I'm not sure if I'm smelling the honey, but it is a sweet but slightly spicy smell. I really like that one. And then the last thing in my whiff box is hugging a mug, which smells not exactly like hot chocolate. I don't know why I keep thinking I smell caramel. Just do some silence while I'm trying to think of how to describe it. <coughs> Pardon me. I have allergies, and this weather has been really just destroying me. I really thought I was like dying with COVID or something, but it's just just allergies. I even took the test and it came back negative. It's just everything up here is moving into here, and, and it's horrible. And I'm miserable all the time. It's probably why everything smells weird to me too. I cannot get a good, everything smells spicy and kind of vanilla-y or caramel-y to me, except for this honey pear cider, which is going to be one of my new room sprays, I think, that I use like daily. Because right now I'm still addicted to the ghostly greetings from September. I'm going to be so sad when this is empty. And then my other favorite is the Walnut Raisin Muffin for the room sprays. <coughs> I'm going to go back to this lotion for a minute. If you have never used this lotion, I suggest try it. Um, I've sent out 
samples. I get the sample packs, not of this scent, but of um, just lotion in general. Usually, like the I think Go Go Mango or something. And I I really like this lotion. At first, I didn't think I was going to because like when I first put it on, it felt kind of greasy. But after just a few moments, it goes away, and then it just feels really soft. And it's the smell. I kind of smell like a walnut stuff now, but the smell lingers like all day. Serenity's starting to use it too because it just smells really good and, and you can just, it's, it lasts for hours. And you can reapply and it doesn't get like a lot stronger or anything, but you just keep that nice, well at least with that scent, nice kind of a subtle perfumey scent all day just by using the lotion. Um, I think I put some of the body spray or body mist or whatever it is we sell into next month's with I think the scent to go along with it I want to see because I haven't experienced the body mist yet so I will definitely tell you how I feel about that so anyway I've been rambling I'm sorry it just it took me forever just to get home and get on here so now my brain scattered but the whiff box so that was what four bars and then the room spray, the scent circle, and a couple samples. I think that's definitely worth the price. Let's see. So $36, I think, just for the product, and then a couple samples. And every month you get something different. And the whiff box just costs $30 a month. And if you're doing the monthly club, like I do, if you reach a certain amount in your club, then you get a half price item, and I use that for my whiff box. So I'm actually only paying fifteen dollars for the whiff box, so it's definitely worth it because I'm getting, you know, at least thirty-six dollars, however much I said, worth of product for fifteen dollars. I mean, if you're already getting stuff anyway every month, then why not? All right, another thing I want to talk about, which <laughs> I feel stupid, but I haven't been doing this very long, but I did not know that we could do, it's called the Laundry Love multi-pack, and at first I was like, ooh, that's kind of expensive because it's $50, but you get the big washer whiff tub, which by itself is $30, and then you also get a laundry liquid and two boxes of the dryer discs, so it comes out to $60 if you buy them separately, if you put them in the Laundry Love multi-pack then I mean you're saving ten dollars and if you're getting that uh, I don't even know how long it would last my laundry liquid lasts quite a while I use like I think four squirts per load and I'm still on the first bottle I started let's see does it say how many loads sorry while I click around I'm gonna try to figure out how many loads you can get out of a bottle of the laundry soap those are the dryer discs Let's do some awkward silence. Laundry, liquid. It says enough detergent for 50 medium loads, which I do large loads, and I still use maybe four or five squirts each because they're in the little pump bottles. And um, like I said, I'm still using mine. Of course, we don't do laundry like every day, but we do at least two or three loads a week. Let's see. It's 20 floral ounces, 50 floral fluid. Sorry. 20 fluid ounces, 50 medium loads. And so far, I mean, I don't even use. I, I got some of the um, laundry stuff. What's it called? But just the laundry liquid and the dryer disc themselves, my, the laundry comes out really clean, smells really good, and it's soft, and I don't have to use the dryer sheets, but I'm still not having any static, so I'm thinking, I guess the dryer bars help with the static, as well as making them smell just really good. <coughs> Each dryer disc you buy, it comes in a box of two, and one's good for up to 15 loads, so one box should last you at least a month right if you're doing like even one a day so yeah I would definitely look into the laundry love if you use the laundry products so Cincy Club laundry love 
and with box. I think I covered everything I was going to talk about. I'm sorry if I talked really fast. I haven't even eaten dinner yet, so I was trying to hurry up and do this. Um, I don't see anybody popping up with any questions. I had no... I don't think I see any messages with any questions. I'm always hoping someone will have questions for me, but then again, I'm always worried that I'm not going to be able to answer. Of course, I can always look up anything that you might want to know. Alright, so, like I said, I'll be back on in a couple days. Um, they're, they're shipping my warmer of the month kit out. Where did I? Oh, I just had to go to the store, get some groceries. And then I was going to come home and cook, but it was running so late that we decided to stop and get some food. But all of us wanted different food. And then my husband and my brother wanted DQ. And then we sat in line for like half hour, 45 minutes. It, I swear there was maybe two people working in that restaurant. I could see the girl take the order and then she would disappear. I think she was going, she was like the chef leader. And I feel like she was honestly, I feel like she was going to help cook everything. And then she was bagging up everything. She was um, handing out in front, handing out the window. And then I saw a guy pop up one time and help her. So I was like, I really think there's only like two people working, doing the whole DQ. And there was a line. I think I was like fifth or sixth in line. And then when I finally got up to, you know, the order speaker thingy <laughs> menu, you know what I'm talking about. There was like 10 cars behind me. There was people actually turn around and leave and I felt so bad for the workers. And then she was like, I'm so sorry for your wait. And I'm like, it's no problem because I've been there. I worked fast food years ago. Would never do it again, I don't think. And uh, there's no point in getting mad at them when they're obviously working so hard. I can understand being frustrated, which I had just said something to Serenity like right before she opened the window to take my money. And I was like, yeah, we've only been sitting in line for an hour. And then I'm like, hi. No, no problem. <laughs> uh, well, we got to sit and listen to music. And uh, we had already stopped and got our food, so we kind of nibbled on our food. Um, we got some spicy nuggets from McDonald's. And some one the Little Caesars has a half-half pizza. It's like a half of a pepperoni pizza and a half breadstick, so we nibbled on a breadstick or two. <sighs> I got to stop doing fast food. I mean, what's the point of going to the grocery store if I'm going to just stop and get horrible food? And I've gained like all my weight back. I don't know if you know, but I lost like 60 pounds last year. I've gained it all back plus some. So I gotta start doing something. I don't want to like kill over from a heart attack or something because of McDonald's food. Anyway, <laughs> I feel weird just sitting here talking about fast food and stuff. <sighs> Any more questions? <laughs> Do you think that you might try this honey pear cider? I'm trying to remember what you got the one time you got like pumpkin roll something, didn't you? I'm going to spray this again. Spray it right past my face. Did you see it? Just <sighs> thought for sure I was going to blind myself. Anyway. <laughs> this smells so good. Alright. But now I'm getting like just a, a mix of that and that walnut raisin. I lost the lid. This stuff is just strong. <sighs> Tell Bobby I said hi and I love him. I miss him. Babe! Ah. Come here! <laughs> oh, I think I did get some on my face. Right? <laughs> yep, right there. What? Say hi. <laughs> hi. It's Stacy. Stacy? Mm hmm. Is that it? Yeah. No. That's okay. okay. <laughs> she said to tell you hi and that she misses you and she loves you. No, miss you and love you too. <sighs> she says she likes bakery smells and fresh fruit. I think he would like this one. Can you smell? Oh, he's already gone. <sighs> Is there a definition or definition description of this? Because honestly, I didn't even know this was one we offered. I need to just like sit down one day and go over every scent. Either in my book or online. And remember stuff. 
Alright, it says fresh juicy pear and sweet honey together with subtle hints of ginger root, cinnamon, and clove. Set the mood with a kiss of fragrance wherever and whenever it's needed. What mood? What mood are we setting with this? The we need to go bake something? <sighs> kind of makes me want some kind of cobbler. Fresh fruits. You might... I don't know, you might like this. Jeweled pomegranate. I'm going to send you a sample of both. Whenever... Because I've been making samples of the room sprays in these little vials, little vials. So I'll send you a sample of the room, the apple. I keep wanting to say apple, honey pear cider. And then I'll send you a little sample of the jeweled pomegranate. That way you can try out both of those. Did you want to try the walnut raisin muffin? I didn't really notice the clove. And maybe because it's the room spray, I know a lot of times if you get the wax, it smells different. But I'm not really smelling, I'm just smelling like a the, the pear and... I guess, I think the ginger, mostly cinnamon and pear is what I'm smelling. I'm trying to smell, it's it's... I made samples of the walnut raisin muffin earlier today, and it's like it's almost all I can smell right now. I think it's on my hands or on my clothes. Mm. Anyway, you can let me know if you, you want to try a sample of that or not. I usually send out samples on Mondays. I was trying to think. There's something else. Had you tried the Cloudberry Dream? Had you had you smelled that? If not, I could send a sample of that also. Cause you like fresh fruit and you like bakery smells. This is definitely a fresh kind of a fruity smell. But it's like a really sweet. It's not really a fresh fruit. It's more just like almost like a candied fruit smell. Have you tried the Johnny Appleseed? Do you use the Johnny Appleseed? I don't know why I keep asking you. I could just go look and see what you ordered and know if you'd ordered anything like that before and I don't know what you used previously. My thing's not scrolling. I'm not a raisin fan. See, clap every day. So I, I forgot that it didn't scroll automatically, so I was missing your last two comments. I did not smell the raisin. Maybe that's me. I smell mostly, it smells like, it smells really strong of cinnamon to me. And it smells like a like a muffin or a bread. I should. I wish Sener uh, Serenity was down here, but she had homework to do because she hates raisins. So she probably would be able to tell me if it ha smelled like raisins or not. She really likes the Cloudberry Dream, and she's a, a big fan of what was it like vanilla apricot or something, which they might have discontinued. I don't even remember. Something they discontinued. She has the room spray. I'm looking at my other monitor. Mm. It's not wanting to load good, probably because I'm streaming and using several different tabs, plus they're all watching stuff, plus she's doing her homework and streaming stuff also. I'm glad our internet keeps up with us pretty good. Apricot vanilla. Let me see if that's what it was. Mm. So yeah, it was the room spray they discontinued of the apricot vanilla, and that was her favorite room spray. So she was really sad. Let's see. Um, so 
Has anything I mentioned, is there anything you want samples of? I probably look so weird on this camera. Oh, that sounds really good. Vanilla almond cherry. Does it smell bakery? Does it smell like, like a, a cherry crumble? Like cherry pie with some vanilla ice cream on it. That would be a really good smell. We have an apple cherry strudel. sample of those. I'll actually do some wax instead of just the felt samples. I've been sending out wax because it's been getting cooler so they haven't been melting as bad. That way you can get a good idea because I don't have any of the spray or anything of it, just the, the wax. I don't think there's anything else I was going to talk about. My brain is starting to settle down. It was just spinning a million miles per hour. It's not really fruity. Oh, the, um, what's it called? Autumn Road Trip? or That one's really fruity. And I really like it. Oops, I am just... Oh, this one I think I'm supposed to be tired and come. I think I understand what you mean, high end hand cream. The kind of almost musky vanilla smell. Oh, that doesn't make sense though. The yeah, you can try the apple. Look me. So we're gonna do Cloudberry Dream and Johnny Appleseed. Or did you want me to see if I can find some apple cherry strudel? Because I might have a little wax thingy. I know I have the Johnny Appleseed and the Cloudberry Dreams. I have a whole cabinet of wax now, but most of them are the same ones because I've just been getting the same ones over and over in my monthly club. Uh, do I have a wax of that? It is. A lot of people are mixing it with stuff. And some of it sounds really weird that they're mixing it with, but everybody says it turns out really great. But it's around the campfire. I was thinking I'd sent you a scratch and sniff. Maybe not. I sent out a couple of some postcards to people with some scratch and sniffs of it. But um, it's just, it's a really smoky smell. It's like if you were sitting around the campfire without the smoke. You know, without it hitting you in the face and burning your eyes and stuff. It's just a real... It's almost strong. Just on the scratch and sniffs, it's pretty strong. But it's it's a really good smell. It's like how you... If you've had a big bonfire or a campfire, and then, like, the way your clothes smell later, it's pretty much what that smells like. It says, Make some memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene. Set the mood with this fragrance where everyone ever needed. But it's just, I really like it. I didn't think I was going to like it. But it's one of those, the more I smell it, the more I like it. And I'm thinking about trying to mix it up like I keep seeing people do it. Some of them does it, do it, yeah, I can't talk. We have a Jamie Time, I think it's what it's called, fragrance. And I saw someone that mixed it with that and they said it's really good. And they call it Jazzy Time. I can't remember what else people have been mixing it with. I think someone did it with um, one of the other like wood woody scents, mm, woods, wood scent. Tristan's cactus, no. Iced pine. I think they might have said iced pine or the just for you. One of those two. They mixed it with, and they said it was really good. Yeah, I'll send you a scratch and sniff of that. And maybe some of the fruity ones I have. 
pardon me while I reach up in my thing there. Let's see. Autumn road trip, around the campfire, Stroop Waffle Delight. Have you smelled that one? Have you ever had a Stroop Waffle? Because <laughs> those are yummy and this smells just like the treat. I have Dancing Sugar Plums. I have Best in Snow. Slay All Day. See, I'll send you one with Probably like autumn road trip around the campfire, and maybe one of these. Yeah, the Stroop waffle. If you think you might like to smell it, it's a bakery scent. I think the little postcards are nifty. You write that down before I forget. Stroop waffle. I can't find and see cloudberry greens. Have you? Did they have um, what are they call the buddy clips? Whenever you used to sell it, Stacy. I'm getting sidetracked, but these things are like the cutest little things. Which would be my, I guess the main warmer is that the one you use the most. My main warmer would be the one I have in here. It's um, the Haunted House one. So I just, whatever is my favorite scent at the time is the one I'm usually using in that one. And then in the living room, when I have it on, it's that cool um, little metal house thingy. I usually use like the aloe vera and ivy, or home, more like a kind of like a more masculine scent because Bobby you know he's more in there and he likes he doesn't like the real sweet scents and I do or the real strong ones but these yes these are adorable they're just little you know clips that you can put like on a backpack or something or I can totally see you just hanging it in your car and they smell really good I was gonna like just hang them up and keep them displayed in here, but too many smells mingling. I think this is my favorite. <laughs> I thought the cow was, but the turtle is just adorable. And I feel like they're really well made. That's what I was gonna talk about. You know, they brought out the Monster Incorporated um, Scentsy Buddies scent pack and wax and then they brought out the Male or not Maleficent, I keep saying Maleficent the Disney Villains warmer and waxes and then they brought out the advent calendar today, they released them today and then like within hours that the Sully Scentsy Buddy was already sold out which it looks like there's going to be a second chance maybe to get it, I hope and I was really thinking about buying it, and by the time I even got on there, it was already sold out. Avocado and sea salt? I do like the avocado and sea salt. And I also like, um, we use like, is it Amazon Rain or something like that? We use that for our laundry. And then, the fragrance flowers. I put fragrance flowers, I wish I could talk today, in Bobby's office, and I keep one in here too sometimes. It's a bigger room in here though so it doesn't have as much scent in here. This 
I have a blanket buddy too that I really like. Let's see. Aloe water and cucumber is the fragrance flower I usually use. I really like it. And Bobby likes it too. Aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple nectar. So it's like sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. It's not really floral. I was almost said floral, but it's not. But it's kind of fruity. Anyway, so I usually recommend that to people who don't want like an overpowering scent. Because it's just, it's really pleasant. And I really liked how it made his office smell. And they last a lot longer than I thought they would. What else do I have? I... It might seem, I don't know if it's weird, but I enjoy sampling. I enjoy making the samples and sending them out to people. Even though, like, I think I've been sending out anywhere from 5 to 20 a week. And I got, like, one order from all the people that I sent them to. Which is a little disappointing, but I enjoy knowing that people are in, like, like get them. And it's like, yay, free stuff. And then, you know, someone might find the stuff that they were really wanting. Like that one fragrance that they were really wanting or that one product. I don't know why I get super excited over that, but I do. Cinnamon Vanilla. That was another one I really like, though, the room sprays. Maybe I should start making samples of it, too. Someone told me I was sending out too many samples, and that's why nobody's buying from me. <laughs> so I usually send out a wax sample and a dish liquid sample, a some kind of body sample like this week I sent out Scentsy Soap and then I sent out a little sample did I say room spray? the room spray a little sample of the um, fabric refresher I sent out the catalog with a bunch of scratch and sniffs I usually sent out some kind of laundry thing this time it was wash your wish because I ran out of the sample packets of like the liquid so, I don't know. To me, like if I got a sample pack, I want to sample a little bit of everything that's offered. So that's how I make the sample packs. I put a little bit of each line in there that I have available and and hope they enjoy it. And it's not like it's huge samples. I guess the biggest problem is, you know, that it costs like five, six dollars per package to mail it, plus the supplies. But I have fun making them. So I think as long as I'm having fun doing it, that's probably the most important thing, right? <laughs> um, I'm sitting here just doing this live, but like I'm focusing all my conversation on you, so people are going to be watching this later, and they're like, why is she, she rambling on about? This is just it's stupid. <laughs> Alright, I probably should end this. Um, like I said, if anybody watches this on replay, hashtag replay, um, if you have any questions about the scents, the scent families, the different like um, bundles, because if I don't know off the top of my head, I can look it up. I know, but like one of my, um, I think one of my directors or something, she said, you know, I'm sending out too much. So I was like, maybe I should cut back, but then anytime I'm putting it together, I'm like, but I really want them to try out this dish soap or the counter clean or the, like the concentrate. It just depends on what I have, you know, I'm making samples of that week. It changes week to week. And then, but what if they don't want a cleaning product? What if they want a laundry product? Or what if they want, you know, a body line? And then I send out, if I find out they have pets, I send out the pet sample. And it's just... I enjoy it, and that's what I would want to get. I got sidetracked again. <laughs> I wish I could send out, like, samples of the kids' stuff, but, you know, I can't really buy a bunch of buddy clips or whatever they're called and send those out. Um, anyway, if anybody has any questions about the Scentsy Club, because you can do that monthly, I think every other month or every three months. Um... And then, like I said, if you buy a certain amount of stuff, you can get a half-price item. Plus, 
after a I think after thirty dollars you get ten percent off your entire order. I love my counter cleaner too, and I use the Sunkiss Citrus for the counter cleaner, for the dish soap, for um, the concentrate, which doesn't smell as good as the other two, but it still it smells good. I just love that Sunkiss Citrus. That's what I think the um, the turtle smell is the scent of that turtle too. I really should just get the room spray, but I think it's overkill. And it works so good. Like the counter cleaner, I used that on the stove, I used it on the counter, I used it on the fridge, and before we got the concentrate, I was using it on the floor too. And one bottle lasts a lot longer than I thought it would. So I know this uh, concentrate's going to last quite a while. Scentsy Club, Whiff Box, um, like I said, I really think if you like surprises, then, you know, if you don't, you know, you like not knowing what you're going to get every month, the whiff box would be great. Especially if you're doing the Scentsy Club and you can get that half price item, then then the, the whiff box would only be $15 every month. And sometimes you get room spray, sometimes you get the scent circles, sometimes you get the wax. Um, I got, at least once I got the, the, the full, you know, bag of Scentsy Soap. I can't remember what I had in other boxes, but I look forward to that every month. And my birthday's in two days, so opening that was almost like opening a birthday present. It was kind of exciting. And it's like everything. I might sample out some of the wax and stuff, but I'm like, that room spray's mine, that scent circle's mine. <laughs> Let's see. Scentsy Club, bundled, bundle and save, with box. Limited time offers, and those things go so fast. I keep posting in the group. I post on the page. I post on my personal page. You know, this is when it's happening. You know, we usually don't do pre-orders because I don't have enough people that really want to do that. I mean, we don't know each other that well yet to have someone just giving me all their credit card information and stuff. But I make sure people know what time is going to happen, and then they sell out so fast. So I might have to start doing pre-orders. Hey, thank you. I'm so old. <laughs> ah, what am I going to be this year? 44? 44 in two days. Just look, I'm losing all my hair. <laughs> so old. I don't feel 44. I feel like, I don't even know. Bobby says I never grew up, so I'm more like 16 mentally. I think that's why me and Serenity get along so well, because we think the same and act the same. Oh, while you're here, what's the audio quality like? Is it bad? Because I can't, you know, I cannot hear how I sound until I play it back. And this microphone was very shushy whenever I tried it when I first got it yesterday. And if this isn't going to work, and I can't get my Bluetooth headset to work, and I can't get the webcam to work, I'm not sure what else to do for audio. I'm also wondering if there's a lag. Whenever I recorded, because I could record and not go live, whenever I was trying the, the mic out, it was, oh, it's good? Good. It was delayed by like a full 30 seconds. It was really weird hearing myself. So I stopped using the streaming software I was using and just went back to this Facebook live built-in software stuff. Because that was really messing with me. Alright, well I'm going to end this because I do have water. It's the cat's water fountain. I might like unplug that next time. I, f I forgot. It, it gets really loud. Especially since I think I need to fill it up. I think it's starting to get low. So it's not a steady, quiet stream. It's more like a splutter, splutter, splutter. So I'm sure that's annoying. Mm. I feel like I need to find a catchy way to say hello and say goodbye whenever I do these lives. Not so... I keep trying to move the webcam to where I'm looking more at it. But if I move it down here, then it's up. It's showing up. Ugh. It just looks really awkward. And then if I move it up here, then I'm looking at myself instead of it. Or if I'm looking at it, I feel like I'm just looking up. Like just Odd. Anyway. I'm still... I'm getting... 
I'm getting more used to and more accustomed to doing the lives, but I'm still, I feel very awkward. And then I'm like, is it weird for me to be drinking out my McDonald's cup? I get really dry because I talk a lot. Alright, well it was good talking to you, not annoying. Which, me, the water, or the <laughs> webcam, <laughs> I forgot what. <sighs> yeah, my brain is scattered. Okay, that's good. Because it was, maybe it was the streaming software I was trying to use, but it's like, it was picking up so much just background noise. And not just like the water, but I guess the, the fan on my computer and... I don't even know. It was just so loud. And I was like, this isn't going to work. And I got one that had really good reviews, but wasn't really expensive. Because I'm like, I'm not going to pay a hundred and something dollars for a mic. Not knowing how it was going to work. Even though I could probably have returned it. But I'm kind of wishing I went a little bit more expensive. Maybe. I don't know. But you said it's good, so I'm going to be happy with it. Because <laughs> it's getting ridiculous between the webcam and, and the microphone. And... <sighs> I have way too much stuff. Alright, I hear people moving around again. So, I am going to end this. Thank you for, like, sticking with me through the whole thing. And then, anybody that watches the replay, thank you for coming and watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, make sure to comment and ask or DM or if you have a number text me or email me however you want to get hold of me you can ask any questions you can think of I will find an answer if I don't know um, if anybody is wanting samples that hasn't gotten samples or maybe they want some scratch and sniffs or some of the scents like the room sprays now that I'm doing room spray samples then let me know I enjoy sending out the samples now, if you already got samples from me, it won't be like a huge sample pack, probably, but you can try out some of these new scents that are coming out. I really like most of them. Of course, I like a lot of the fruity ones. I haven't really tried many of the, the fresh ones, but from what I've seen or smelled from the Scratch and Sniffs, I like the fresh ones, too. The Sleigh All Day and the Best in Snow, those are the two Scratch and Sniffs I have, and I like those. Alright, well... I'm not sure what to say, because, like, with my blog, I used to always say happy crafting, but this isn't, you know, crafting, so happy sensey. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to end this, so y'all have a good evening. I will talk to you later, Stacy. and how do I end this? Okay, there it is. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Bye.